Hi, my name is Kadir Roman Chandar, and this is my Polydrums project, a cheap and effective car collision prevention system by me and my mentor, Henry Love. As an overview of this project, my research question is, can a cheap and effective proximity sensing device for a vehicle using an Arduino, distance sensor, and piezo buzzer be created? So when one's vehicle gets too close to the vehicle in front of it, this system would sound an alarm that would alert the driver to take action and prevent a collision. So the typical following distance is two cars, which translate to about 14 feet. So we would program this device to sound its alarm at half that distance, which is seven feet. In this presentation, I'll go over supplies, definitions, methods of building and test setups. First for supplies, you'll need a distance sensor and I chose this particular ultrasonic sensor since it has a range of 21 feet with a wide beam pattern. Then you'll need this Arduino starter kit, which includes the following items. The final price of the system comes to about $140, which is cheap considering that the similar systems in newer vehicles cost thousands of dollars. Next for definitions, let's go over how a piezo buzzer and ultrasonic sensor works. So a piezo buzzer operates using the piezo electric effect. And when this material inside the buzzer is subjected to an electric field as shown in this diagram, it vibrates and generates a sound. An ultrasonic sensor works by emitting ultrasonic waves. And when these waves hit an object as shown in this diagram, they bounce back. And the sensor outputs the distance between it and the object in terms of voltage. In order to convert this voltage to distance in inches, we need to use this equation. Next, for methods of building, first you need to connect plus and minus on the Arduino Uno to the same on the breadboard. And then for the piezo buzzer, you need to connect one leg to minus and the other to a digital pin. And for the ultrasonic sensor, you need to connect it to plus, minus, and an analog pin. Then for the LEDs, you need to connect the short leg to minus using a 220 ohm resistor and the long leg to a digital pin. I decided to use an array of nine LEDs, three red, three yellow, and three green that will act as a digital display of the distance you are from the vehicle in front of you. So when each LED turns on, that means you are within a range of distances from the vehicle in front of you. And green means that you are safe, yellow means that you should take caution, and red means that you should probably back off. So next for test setups, I first wanted to find the minimum detectable object area at seven feet. So I taped cardboard squares of various sizes to a stick, and I moved it towards the sensor to see if it would detect it at the target distance of seven feet. And through this experiment, I found that the minimum detectable object area was four square inches. Then I wanted to find the aperture or width of the beam pattern of the ultrasonic sensor. And I also did this at a vertical range of seven feet. So I moved this two by two square that we used in the previous slide horizontally this time to find out how wide the beam pattern is, like the max horizontal distance. And through this, I found that the max horizontal distance is two feet. So by taking an arc tangent of two over seven, I found this angle of attack, which is approximately 15 degrees. Then I tested the sensor with a car, person, and bike. And these are the max deductible distances for those. Here's a video of the test setups listed in the previous slides. Now the square is too far away for the sensor to detect it. Now they move it closer. Now it can detect it. This is about seven feet away. Now the square is too high for the beam pattern to detect it. But right here it can detect it. And then if I move it left, it can detect it. But around here, it can detect it. Anywhere from here to about somewhere over there. Here's a detailed beam pattern on my ultrasonic sensor. So this is the max vertical range of 21 feet, and this is the max horizontal range of 11 feet. And this is the angle of attack, 15 degrees. And I also discovered that there's a gray area from zero to 100 centimeters where the sensor can't effectively detect anything. Here's an enclosure I designed for the Arduino and breadboard system. So I laser cut each side of this enclosure and connected them through these box joints. There's a hole here for the ultrasonic sensor and there's a hole on the other side to connect the Arduino to power. On the top, there are nine holes for each of the nine LEDs and an additional hole for the piezo buzzer. And right here are the engravements of the distance measurements for each respective LED and an additional warning when the piezo buzzer sounds its alarm. These are my references and thank you for listening to my presentation.